Hi guys, it's Elmer, your fire protection guy. Welcome back to this channel. We're going to initiate a test on a conventional notifier 1600 fire indicating panel. So let's start. So this is the 1600 conventional fire indicating panel. So let's open it up first. So what you can see here is just a normal conventional 8 zone circuit power supply, the main board, and the amplifier, all right? For the amplifier, there are some buttons that some of them are not aware. There you are, the false alarm and the test button. You can use that, just pressing, let's press this test. The emergency warning system is being tested. Okay, you can hear that? And the other one is a false alarm test. This has been a false alarm. You may return to your normal activity. Okay, but normally we are going to use the microphone to initiate the test. You have attention please, this is a test. Please disregard all emergency warning. This is a test only. Okay, we have done that. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is isolate the smoke control, which is the fans, the car park exhaust pad, whatever, or uh, air conditioning trip. And let's disable first the, this alarm. So those are the two things. And then since it's conventional, there's only few zones it's easier to test so let's press menu okay that's what you get and you press menu and then you press number five which is the test number five then you got there zone number one and then zone one is already a default so if you want to change it just change the numbers to zone two zone three for purpose of testing you just leave it like that zone one and then it says press enter to change the state blah 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 and then we press enter so you got the alarm, okay? Now there's no noise because this one is isolated. All right, so let's de-isolate and this is what will happen. And then we switch off. Once you switch that off, there will be a fault in the system later on. And then we reset. You cannot reset, you have to press that button first. This is what will happen. So you cannot reset system, press silence alarm. So silence alarm first and then reset. And that's it. And then if you left that off, you're going to have a fault. See, fault, fault system. And then if you switch to automatic, all right, the fault will clear itself. So you have only disable one, smoke disable one, everything clear, operating, and all good. Now, what you, I am going to do next is go to the kitchen, and normally in this the system was the smoke control which is the air conditioning always trip by itself okay so that's all so all good now you learned something 1600 conventional fire indicating panel see you next time